12 people on staff, and I was the only pharmacist that wasn't a Hagerman. And so <laughs> I'm a Hagerman kind of by default. I guess. I've said that before. Um, so back in 2000 is when we really started uh, becoming a specialty pharmacy. We started doing our dialysis delivery program, and that's where we took medications to deliver to patients who were on kidney dialysis right where they were in the chair. And then in 2005, it was a very seminal moment for Diplomat. Uh, I can remember this very clearly. Uh, Phil, myself, another business partner, and we had a consultant come up that we had met at one of the uh, specialty pharmacy conventions, or pharmacy conventions at that time. And we sat in a hotel room for uh, two days here in the Flint area and really mapped out what uh, we were going to do as far as a strategic a strategy and our goals. And uh, it really was, um, you know, kind of uh, part of it uh, was based on, we saw there were $20 billion in that, in that uh, time in specialty pharmacy, and we knew it was gonna continue to grow. So in uh, 2010 is probably the next moment where, you know, we purchased the uh, 550,000 square foot building here to count on to uh, uh, house all of our operations. And really, I, I do want to say that the chamber played a very, very big role in helping us find and procure that building. Additionally, uh, the chamber introduced Diplomat to various local uh, government and state government agencies that really allowed us to stay here in the area and to continue to grow our business. With Diplomat's move to, to the headquarters in the city of Flint, we became a catalyst for improvement in both new jobs offered and the ability to partner with local civic groups and with other community charities.